You have no color on your body. No. Oh, this is the first color ever. This is the first color ever, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's super chill, man. He's, he's, um, I think it's not. <laughs> yeah. So with Jerry's Daruma, I'm thinking about using these, keeping it really simple. So the red, they having that classic Daruma, Daruma Osho red colour, and then I'm going to use these skin tones. Um, so I'm drawing a bit of a funky, um, I don't know, it's a, you can call it a yokai maybe, right? Um, but it's a Daruma. So I'll be shading in this one today. So this is a little bad boy I'll be starting on today. Mm. Daruma, this, I base this, this, you probably see that, just that round face with that little, mm. that round ball type thing. Mm. It's a doll, it's a good luck doll. Mm. So they use it, it's a yearly thing. So every, the beginning of the year, um, you might receive, someone might give it to you as a gift. Um, and, and, you, and you do the eye. I think you're painting like the, the right eye. Without the two eyes, it's just, it's just, it's like on zero. And then as soon as you put the eye in, that's when like your wish gets activated kind of thing. So as you make the wish, you draw in the one eye and then that's usually at the beginning of the year. And then obviously you do wish for something quite like nice, like for example, health or, or, or for my family to, to be healthy or, or yeah, just, just simple, just simple stuff, yeah. And then well, that wish comes true at the end of the year um, and you, when the wish comes true, you draw in like the other eye. So you put, so you, you make him two eyes, yeah. I'm not exactly sure how the exact process is um, and there's dates and stuff involved, but I know after your wish comes true, uh, you're not supposed to keep this. Like you're not supposed to like keep it as like a little ornament. You're supposed to get rid of it. Yeah, you have to get rid of it, yeah. Um, so there's ways to get rid of Daruma dolls. I think you're supposed to wrap it up into paper. Normally you burn these things. Oh, so. Yeah, so usually um, in Japan, in the beginning of the year you have things called like dondoyaki and stuff and it's where you make a big bonfire in the middle of town. It might be a primary school or some sort of a calming gun or something, or like something communal. They make a massive bonfire <laughs> and they chuck all the, all the oshogatsu kazari. Oshogatsu kazari is, you know, in, in the new year they, they put up, yeah, so on the doors, in front of the cars. It means it, yeah, paper, paper old folded paper, and there's like, there's ropes, and that stuff you don't just put away and use it the next year, you've got to get rid of it as well. So these ones you burn at the dontoyaki, like if you have like a big thing of the year normally, you then make a big fire, so you, you bring out all your oshogatsu kazari, and, and you chuck it in the, and you, you throw it in there, yeah. You, you, and I'm pretty sure with the dharma, something similar, you're supposed to like wrap it up into paper and stuff like that, and you're supposed to dispose of it properly. Sorry, my knowledge is not so 100%. I can do more research and I can inform you guys a bit better. Mm. We'll see you with Jerry's next. What a coincidence. What a coincidence, man. I look winky dinky. Daruma desu. Daruma socks. I have a few other um, Daruma too, Tatsu. Let me show you some Darumas, bro. Okay. So these are the. These are all Daruma. Mm. The one in the middle is a Daruma Osho. It was like a, a real life guy. The most Daruma. Oh. Oh. Hi, Terry. Hello. Hey, hey. How are you, bro? How was your drive? Good. Pretty good? Yeah. 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 Have a look, have a look at this cut, man. Like, Jerry, I heard Chris told me. Yeah. That, they, did, they didn't stitch it up properly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? You can see my muscle, the line, and... Yeah, yeah, wow, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> then, oh the, my god. The fat. Yeah, fat. Oh my. Yeah. It's like sashimi. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Am Jerry. I walking? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
yeah. maybe two, three centimeter. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm glad it's okay. Uh, so today's um, objective is to shade in um, this daruma down here. Yep. So as I mentioned before, we finished off the background a few months ago. So both of his legs are all shaded in, all the background, and he's had a, a big break. Um, yep. And we've he's come back and we're going to start doing all the colour. I'm going to start the colours today and I think I'm going to start on his ankle here and try to get this guy done. Um, and then after this daruma, I might try to do, do this daruma over here. They're pretty cool, like daruma-san koronda. Daruma-san mean, I kind of tweaked it, so there's like three. Like daruma-san meaning like san three, <laughs> koronda. Yeah, but anyways, there's three of them. So there's one up here. There's one, two, three. And I really wanted to draw Dharma with arms and legs, so Jerry was open-minded, so he allowed me to do something that I wanted to do. Yeah, and I've got a smidgen darker with his background, just a little bit. Very similar to usual, but just a little bit darker. Mm. I'm trying to um, concentrate on how the grey wash will look in about 10, 20 years. What I was going to do is for, for, for this red one, yeah. I want to leave some skin. Try to leave some skin like this. I leave a skin line, and see, this is a see if this is black shading. Yeah. I'm gonna. The gray wash on the on the daruma. Yeah. So do the black, the red, the skin, and skin. Cool. Yeah. So I'll start with the black and gray. Now, bro. Ooh. Ready for color. Is this first color for your legs? Yeah. You have no color on your body. No. Oh, this on is the first color ever. This is the first color ever, yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. Are you ready? Yeah, so exciting. Are you ready for the red? <laughs> Yeah, Jerry's super chill, man. He's, um, <laughs> yeah. the reds and I'm on the skin tones now. I, with my big traditional stuff I'll never use it. I use it on like yokai, like little one pointers. I'm treating this as like a one point, so I'm mm. trying to put lots of color on it. And you've got to be careful when you use skin tone, you know, if that skin tone is very similar to that person's skin, mm -hmm. 
When it heals, it doesn't look like you've tattooed it. Oh, right. Yeah. Exactly. So obviously you got to kind of, it's a tattoo, so you've got to make it friction darker than the skin. So it shows off. And So good, Jack. Damn. Yeah, I like the skin tone. Yeah, it's sure. It's yeah. it's showing its true color now. Yeah. Before. It's a bit red before. Just yeah. Flamed, I guess. 